Sea snot can be a combination of things, including the leftover materials from decomposing sea organisms and their fecal matter. Sea snot is scientifically referred to as marine mucleage because it is a combination of mucus-like substances in order to make one giant sea booger. Sea snot does have a devastating effect on other marine life. It can smother and kill coral, it's killing sponges, it gets in the gills of fish. For certain shellfish, when they open, they get sea snot caught inside and then they can't close back up. And it can also carry disease that can be passed on to people, like cholera. Unfortunately, the Sea of Amara is the perfect storm for a sea snot outbreak. Not only has untreated wastewater been dumped into it for 40 years, it's also been exposed to agricultural runoff for decades. That, combined with rising sea temperatures due to climate change, give us the result we see today. Similar events have happened all over the world, including Florida, the Gulf of Mexico, even Hawaii. However, what's currently happening in the Sea of Amara is the largest outbreak of sea snot ever recorded. As we've seen in other parts of the world, sea snot can be cleaned up. They basically use a very large sea vacuum to suck up all that snot. Unfortunately, in the Sea of Amara, there are reports that there's sea snot as deep as two meters, and that's gonna take more than a sea vacuum to clean up. If the baseline issues aren't dealt with, as in the untreated wastewater, the agricultural runoff, and climate change, then we're just going to see continual and increasing amounts of sea snot outbreaks. <laughs> <laughs>